Welcome back to What Are Tea Nibs with General Disturbance. This is the Bishop, the Tier 5 British SPG. It's located on the north spawn of Cliff and it's under the command of Hospitals. Now, this RT is built from the Valentine tank with a 4.5 inch howitzer mounted inside a casement so it can use vents. Battle started. Now, if you're wondering why the chirping's rather loud, yes. Reggie's decided to come down and join me in this battle. I think he's going to be giving a joint commentary. Are you? You can try and do the commentary as well. Yes, he is. Okay, well, it's got a rather quick reload. 10.88 seconds per shot. Capable of doing 450 alpha, penetrating 28mm of armour. And it's also got a burst radius of 2.22 metres. Now it's a tier 6 battle, he's tier 5 RT, so he's going to earn a bit more XP than normal. And he did knock down that tree for cover, but I'm not sure if the enemy RT are going to notice that. Okay, we've got an A20, which is a tier 5 Soviet light tank. He fires a snapshot in that direction, but doesn't get an accurate hit. You can see how short range it is. He's almost at maximum range, even though he's closer to the enemy than he'd normally be. You can see we've got a flattened rescue. That's an indication that he's actually at almost max range. Fires at the Covenant turn, just misses him. If he does hit that Covenant turn, he'll probably penetrate it and take it out with one round. Rounds out. Pulls back just in time to avoid the shot, and in the end, he gets taken up by the A43. Now, range was a real problem for the bishops in real life, in reality. Problem was, they couldn't get the gun to actually elevate enough to actually shoot over much longer ranges. And so, in the end, they resorted to actually parking the bishop on a ramp. So they build up a ramp of earth, get the shovels out. Oh, he's killed the T-67! And they then literally drive the RT up onto the ramp so that the gun was pointing higher up into the sky, which would increase the range of the vehicle. Well, after killing the T-67, he's now getting good hits on the Valiant and the KV-85. Rounds out. Oh, beautiful! There's the Valiant. Okay, going for the KV-85 now. It's going to take a few more shots to take him out, but he's got stronger armour. So he'll be nibbling him away, because each shot that hits him, it's an HE round. HE vibrates the modules, shakes the armour, gradually takes bits out off the, the tank. The crew members go down, modules stop working properly. And it's the death by a thousand cuts in the end. Eventually, if you throw enough HE at something, it eventually fails to... It stops working. And another nice hit. 159 now. Oh, I think Reggie's interested in this one. Yes, you are, aren't you? Fires a blind shot at the uh, KV, and yes, did hit him, but he's lost sight of him now, and I think he's pulled back behind the rock. He just took... Oh, he's still there! Well, this should be a kill shot. It is! And he's now out the game. Okay, so now he's running short on targets to fire at, because most of the enemy tanks are so far away that he has to get closer if he wants to get good, accurate shots on them. So he might have to reposition very shortly. Fires one at the T-34. He's loaded. Just waiting for the right moment to shoot. Now he can't hit the T-34 because he's the other side of that rock. I think other people call that the donut actually. Okay, now that's 82's out of range. His, ra his reticle completely flattened out when he tried to. So he's going to have to move up if he wants to get shots on these guys. And as usual, Hospitals likes to uh, 
He likes to move about in such a way so he can keep an eye on what's going on in third person, almost like a situational awareness, whilst he's in the battle assistant. But he was spotted, and the enemy RT is actually firing at him. And I think that it might be that 555C and the T-34 who saw him because they're on the north side of the donut and now it's got him in a bit of a problem situation because he was seen they know he's here if he shoots and he's got something in front of him obstructing his field of fire because he's got a red line so he can't shoot at the t-34 or the firefly and this is a real problem because if they if he can shoot he can they can probably see him Fires around in, gets a nice hit on the T-34. Looks like he tracked him, but he repairs the tracks and goes down to the Valiant. Okay, the other Valiant goes down, so now he's switching his aim to the Firefly, but he was seen. He does get a hit on the Firefly. He's having to back up behind that building, and then he pulls forward because he couldn't get a shot. He's worried about being taken out by the enemy RT. There's only two RT left on their team now. But he takes out the Firefly 5C. All the tanks have been wiped out. And now he's been hit by the enemy RT. He's had to repair his track and get rid of the stun that the M41 caused. So it's two RT versus an AT2 and three RT, which include a Bishop, a Gorilla, and an M41 HMC. And they know where he is. At least they know the vicinity where he is. They can't see him at the moment. Now I think it's very likely the AT2 will try to move in and kill them because he's got very strong armour at the front of the vehicle. The best thing for Hospitals to do would be to actually try and get back towards his own cap area and he's been spotted and more RT rounds were coming in and I think that may have been the bishop who was firing at him. There's the AT2. He's now relying on the short range capability of this bishop as well as the uh, Fifi on his own team to try and take out that uh, AT2. And well, the Fifi's getting good hits on the guy. If it carries on like this, I think there's a good possibility they may take, may take out the AT-2. And that will make it a fair fight. And yes, he got him! The VP has taken out the AT-2 and now it's a fair fight. RT versus RT. Oh, he has been hit by the Gorilla. Only 20 hit points, which is a splash hit. But we do know that the Gorilla is just a short distance away. And the... The Bishop's got a much faster reload than the Gorilla. Unfortunately, the Gorilla goes to seek cover. And he pops out to take his shot. But Hospitals is dialing in. He floods his shot, but Hospitals doesn't. And there goes the Gorilla. But he gets hit by the enemy Gorilla. Enemy Bishop, rather. And now he needs to move. He's burned his repair kit to, to move. The enemy M41 is now firing at him from the north, so he needs to get behind the rocks so he's safe from the bishop. The M41's got a long reload, and hopefully the Fifi will be able to take out this guy. Oh, he did! He got him! So that's five kills for Hospitals, four kills for the Fifi. The Fifi being the 105 FH-18B2. Now Hospitals can turn around. There's only one enemy remaining, the bishop, and he can shotgun this guy at fairly close range and take him out of the game and if he doesn't the Fifi will get him instead so I think the uh, it's very much in their favor now in fact I think the enemy Bishop is at this moment probably a bit worried because even if he does try to take out and kills Hospitals he knows full well that the Fifi is going to be looking at him and here comes the Bishop no fear he's coming straight on and he's taken around for 150 now the bishop knows he's been seen, but he's just going to keep moving. Any second now, it's the end of the game for him. Oh, good shot indeed. Potentially the high caliber for hospitals. He's backing up because he wants the bishop 
to come around the corner just after he's reloaded and then take the guy out that way. And if he doesn't, the Fifi will. I think they've got the game now if they can kill this guy. Oh, he fluffs his shot. The bishop's coming on. Oh, he's been badly wounded by the Fifi. Only 15 hit points. Don't turn on your side, whatever you do. Yes, he gets it. What an odd way to aim, though. I think we want an action replay at closer range because that was one of the oddest ways I've seen somebody take somebody out like this. Okay, we're coming out of aim mode. You can see the hospital's backed up. The bishop gets hit. He backed himself up against the wall. And I think we have to stop the battle at that point. And I have to go to free camera if I can to actually um, see what the hell's going on. This is very difficult to see. Okay, we can see it that way. <laughs> yes, he did take the guy out with a shotgun. I think we'll, we will watch that one more time because it's the one of the oddest shotguns I've ever seen from somebody doing it in battle assistant mode. This is in free camera at the moment. He comes up around the corner and shotguns him. That's much better to see it that way. So he won the game. Almost impossible odds. Two against four. And they still pulled it off. Both of them still alive at the end. Let's have a look at the end of battle stats. Ace tanker for Hotspools in the Bishop. He managed to get a duelist for taking down two tanks who damaged him. A bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. He got 17. A high caliber for getting the most damage in the game. And he also picked up a top gun for getting six kills in the game. And well, it was certainly very exciting for Reggie as well in that game as well, wasn't it? Yes, I think you enjoyed that game. So let's have a look at the... Uh, uh, the, the win eight, that was 15,745. It's quite a good score, actually. In fact, it's a very good score for uh, the Bishop. Let's have a look at the uh, team scores. Well, the highest damage in the game was 2,560 hit points for Hospitals. 2,448 went for the Fifi. And the next high score after that was, in fact, the Firefly 5C on the enemy team. He got a top gun for 2,001 hit points. When it came to kills, it was shared between Hospitals and the Firefly, both with six kills, four kills for the Fifi. And when it came to base XP, it was the Fifi who did the best with 1,159. 1,131 went to Hospitals. And after that, the next high scorer was the Valiant with 566. Hospitals fired 24 rounds, got 16 direct hits and 3 penetrations, 14 splash. Damage of 2,560 hit points, of which 1,480 were at more than 300 meters. So you can see a large amount of damage was actually done at close range. He also received 5 hits by way of splash damage from the Artis. 2 enemy vehicles were spotted, 7 enemy vehicles were damaged and 6 were killed, and 802 hit points of damage assistance. On a free-to-play account, he earned 32,034 credits from the game, and after repair and ammunition respite, took away 24,962 credits. He got 1,131 base XP, and there was no multipliers, so that's all the experience points he took away. But what a great battle it was. Reggie certainly enjoyed it. Yes, he was uh, one of the first times he's actually come down out of his cage, because his, his cage is always open. But uh, he does tend to watch the battles from afar. And this time around, he came really close down to the screen to watch it. Um, yeah, so I wondered, I think he wonders what the hell's going on. So if you enjoy that replay, please give this video a like and do subscribe to our channel. And thanks for watching.